Despite defence cuts, the government is keen to see more air cadets. That's the message from the new commandant of the air cadets, Air Commodore Dawn McCafferty. Laura Hawkins went to meet the former head of the RAF Families Federation at RAF Cranwell. OK, well, Laura, this is the headquarters of the Air Cadets organisation. We've got about 70 people working in this building, supporting an organisation that's 60,000 strong, which is actually bigger than the Royal Air Force. Hey. Well, come on through, Laura, and welcome to my office. And I spend about one day a week in this actual headquarters. The rest of the time, I'm actually out and about around the country, watching the cadets and the volunteers do their stuff. Air Commodore Dawn McCafferty joined the Air Force when she was 19 and served for 23 years. She left to bring up her family, but was then asked to set up the RAF Families Federation. I set it up from scratch, so it was a very new organisation representing the interests of RAF families um, and basically going to right, right up to ministerial level to talk about the issues of RAF families and you know, making sure the senior RAF knew what their concerns were. Now back in uniform as an RAF reservist, Dawn McCafferty has landed herself her dream job, the head of the Air Cadets. I was effectively a civilian for five years, um, but I have to say it felt like coming home. Putting the uniform on was just fantastic. It was lovely to put on the extra rank, I have to say. Um, I guess the only sort of moment I had where I thought, gosh, I really am back in uniform was when I had my first salute. Um, that was lovely. After five years of not being saluted, that was a really nice moment. There are 45,000 air cadets based all over the country, with 960,000 squadrons, 34 wings and six regional headquarters. With over 30 activities to get involved with, including the Duke of Edinburgh Award, it's a popular organisation for youngsters to join. The kids have got a massive range of um, activities and interests they can follow. If they're sporty, they can do sport. If they're academic, they can do BTEC qualifications. They can do expeditions. They can do music. Most importantly for the cadets who joined the Air Cadets, they can get into the air. And it's the air in Air Cadets that really attracts them to come to the light blue uniform. With many areas of the armed forces at the sharp end of defence cuts, the cadets are luckily unaffected. Although there's a lot of drawdown within defence, cadets are actually growing. So the government are very, very keen to support the cadet organisation. The cadet movement brings an awful lot of positives to youngsters and indeed the volunteers who support them. So it's actually a growth industry for us. We're being encouraged to grow the cadet organisation, not just the air cadets, but the army cadets and the sea cadets as well. Although there'll be challenges in her new role, the new commandant is full of energy, motivation and enthusiasm for the future. The government's very keen that we look into sort of the more deprived areas and the kids who perhaps haven't had those good chances in life and really give those youngsters an opportunity to experience the cadet um, experience themselves and hopefully lift them up and encourage them to do their qualifications and do well in life. Air Commodore McCafferty will be in the post for the next four years and hopes to visit all air cadet squadrons around the country. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, RAF Cranwell.